What's up, miscreants and misfits? So we got some good stuff today for you on the news. Disney finally released the name of its Disney streaming service. Plus, we've got a whole bunch of Disney news to talk about. It's like it's Disney 2018 all freaking day long. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Right now on Miscast Entertainment Movie News. And I swear by the moon and the stars in the sky. I'll be here's Johnny. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Head to the chopper! Say hello to my ear friend! I'm gonna make him an offer again. This is my You're gonna need a bigger boat. Welcome back, you miscast miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Entertainment News with your host, Deadpool. Why is it that the sign language guy on TV is always in a black turtleneck? And your other host, Greg Guevara. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. So's Deadpool. I know. Look at him. He's the excited. only thing better than flying international with a baby is landing in the ocean. He's so excited. Why did you start laughing when he introduced me, though? That's what I want to know. I was laughing I'm at mine. you click clinking his In the his hotel game. lobby, a nursing mother caught me staring. And I didn't know what the appropriate facial expression was for that. Uh, so I just kept on staring. Staring okay. And staring, okay. And then I just kind of got locked into that like a time warp. And, and, and this host right here, William Davis Moore. Now, let's get into the news with Greg. All right. So, first up, we got Disney has finally announced their uh, the name of their streaming service. They had their yes. they had their annual shareholder conference call with Bob Iger, the CEO, right. uh, just the other day. And uh, so, their streaming service they titled it Disney Plus. It's a pretty good name, actually. Eh, I mean, they had. They own ESPN. They had ESPN Plus. Oh, really? Which has like, had like, it's got like a million subscribers ever since they announced it earlier this year. So, keeping that name rolling. Is it going to be Fox Plus? <laughs> I, I bet know, you it is. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? You you might have that Fox name go bye bye. You know, for no, certain things. They'll well, keep it for radar. Right. Well, one man must stand alone. Okay. Deadpool, um, rated fuck you, you'll never see this. But also, during their shareholder conference, they they always release a, a bunch of good, big news. So, this year, they announced that there's going to be a... Um, well, before I get into it, let me just ask you, are you a fan of Rogue One? Star Wars Rogue One? I enjoyed it. Um, uh, I, I liked where they, they were aiming Star Wars uh, stories at that point. You okay. know? It kind of was a one-shot wonder, yeah. I think. Yeah, I love Rogue One. I think it's one of the best. It actually, I think it is the best new Star Wars uh, yeah, movie has, that has come out. You know, oh, even than, better than the better than J.J. Abrams. Better than Seven. Better than Eight. Better than Solo. And I like all of those. You have Diego Luna in Rogue One who played the spy Cassian Endor. Right. Right. Now they're doing a prequel show just about his character, and it's going to be a spy thriller. They're they're calling it a spy thriller set before the events of Rogue One during the formation of the rebellion. So I am not interested. No. No. Oh no. my goodness, that's crazy. I'm, I know, I know, because I am I am a maniac when it comes to oh, Star man. Wars. Oh man, I am. But I'm super picky, also. Yeah, so. I am totally on board. With I, this. I know you. <laughs> yeah, I am excited about this. I've been. I mean, we just got the announcement about Mandalorian. The Mandalorian from John Favreau. That I'm psyched about. I am super psyched yeah, about that. That I'm psyched one. about. Um, I am. I, I am pumped about this one too. You know. So I just, there's supposed to be another Star Wars show, but they haven't announced anything about it yet. My beef with it is there's so much amazing content to create. You know, there's the the Old Republic. There's right. so much stuff they could have done. This to me is a throwaway. It's look. Uh, you feel like it's rehashing. It's, it's old I'm, material. I yes, I don't care what happened yeah. before Rogue One. I, that, I, that Rogue One was a what happened before movie. Like right. what happened before the what happened before movie. Right, it's right. like, <laughs> man, like you really can't like do something cool with. I mean, there was a time. I know it's not canon anymore. It's legacy. But there was a time when they showed the construction, like how the Jedi's actually made lightsabers. Like right. they had cords, like to power packs. Like you can't right. find something that's awesomely new to like. Well, I think they're leaving. I think they're leaving that up to uh, David Benioff and um, uh, Weiss. I forget his name. Yeah, because you think they're going to do Old Republic. Everybody yeah. kind of thinks that's what's. Yeah, going I, on. I, yeah, I think I I yeah. think that's a safe bet. Right. The reason I'm excited about it is because it's going to be in a spy thriller genre. Right. You like the idea. Yeah, of I like the, the, the idea. Storyline, but, but hey, not necessarily the content. Hey, listen. Anything Star Wars, um, I'm pretty much on board. Seriously, with. Yeah. anything. Deadpool loves Star Wars. Deadpool's obsessed with Star Wars. 
Deadpool has Star Wars or may or may not have Star Wars sheets at home on his bed. Well, I have C-3PO underwear. Now, they also talked about some of the uh, Disney Plus also talked or Bob Iger talked about for the Disney Plus streaming service, uh, some of the Marvel properties that they got coming on. Oh, so let's they, hear this stuff. So they confirmed the Loki. It's going to be a mini series, a limited series. They are going to be making this Loki show and that Tom Hiddleston is going to be playing Loki in this one. Do we know if it's like pre Avengers or um, I would assume so. I don't think it can be uh, it's definitely got to be pre-infinity war it has to be pre-infinity That's what I mean. war yeah yeah um so yeah we'll see but there was there were rumors <laughs> around it being um rumors swirling that it was going to be a female loki for a little bit oh that would be so cool Dang. oh man i think that'd be too weird no this dude straight up comic book story arc man he was a kid really? for a long time too oh yeah it was a big deal that well kid. you know the comics better yeah than I it would do. be super cool comics. to see loki and it was you know, I'm I'm on board if they do that. They too. would have to transition it somehow within that, and I think you would need Tom Hiddleston at flashbacks least, or, or at least something. in the beginning. You know, yeah. um, but it's going to be a mini series. It's going to be a limited series with Tom Hiddleston returning. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and that's th- there was no other real announcements about that uh, when it's going to start production, when it's going to come out. Oh, by the way, <laughs> cheers, cheers. I, what are you drinking, Greg? By the way, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tune in to Miss Cast Munchies. I'm drinking a uh, cranberry margarita that our buddy JJ. How about um, how about a vodka soaked Spider Man <laughs> made for our Miss Cast Munchies Thanksgiving special? So be sure to tune in for that. Uh, we'll put the link below. And uh, yeah, it's quite delicious. How does it taste? Uh, like a cranberry margarita. <laughs> it's, it's very good. It's lovely. So. So there's that. Now they also talked about um, a Falcon and Winter Soldier show, yeah, again, team I, up show. That one I I feel even less excited about because like I don't really care. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Those characters kind of without their counterparts, without Captain America, their counterpart because they're both Captain America. Right. Exactly. And they're both Captain America, by the way. Yep. 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 Uh, yep. Uh, without Steve Rogers, I don't give a shit unless they put take up the shield. If they um, take up the shield, then I care. In the comics, they're way bigger characters. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. But I not mean, in the movies. I mean, I, I don't know the comics. I know yeah, the movies. I That's know. About I it. know. And most of you guys watching probably only know the yeah. movies, too. So. So Don't listen to my nerd ass. Yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> so that's that. Um, they also talked about uh, Hulu. Uh, Disney's going to own 60% of Hulu uh, when the Fox merger goes through. 60%? 60%. I thought uh, that Fox outright owned Hulu. I, you know, Apparently not. I work for 20th Century Fox. What do you think? I'm paid in spit. <laughs> I, that's a good... I don't know how exactly how it breaks down, but at least that's according to what I read what on I was, uh, Business Insider. What I was... Uh, um, what I, I thought was going to happen was they were going to make... They, that they were going to own 100% of that, obviously, okay. with the Fox deal. Okay. I thought that was the main reason, actually. And then they were going to use that as their rated R brand, like, like touchstone hey, when i was a kid i went to i actually went to all the r-rated movies um my father father of the year took me to all of them and um so the first one i ever saw was stand by me uh rob reiner movie incredible film uh river phoenix jerry o'connell Corey feldman richard dreyfus amazing anyway that's a, that's one worth checking out it's lovely well hulu hulu no because i think doesn't universal have a stake in it as well i don't know for their shows I, I don't know so i don't know exactly how it breaks down um but According to what I read, they're going to own about 60% of Hulu once huh, the Fox merger is complete. Um, and then uh, due to the subscription growth and brand strength, Iger said that there's a opportunity to increase the investment in Hulu and uh, uh, with more original programming. Okay, they want to up the original programming for that one. So there was there were fear that Hulu might just go bye-bye and that would become the Disney streaming service. Um, but apparently that's not the case. They're going to keep it separate. And uh, the Hulu is going to still keep doing their their network shows and stuff like that, but they want to do more original programming on Hulu. So that's the news there. Um, All but, right. But before we wrap up, we wanted to give a few shout outs to some of our friends over on Twitter. Indeed. Uh, these guys have uh, we've been really conversing with these guys. Maybe set up some collaborations in the future. But they've been promoting us. We've been helping with them. Um, so Who are these fine gentlemen? So first off, we've got a friend from uh, across the pond over in Scotland, uh, the Geeky Retro Nerds Show. You can find him at Geeky Retro Nerds. We'll right put here. that right here. <laughs> um, it's just, not crepe. 
He is not crap at all. He likes to talk. He just likes to talk about old school movies from the eighties, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters. Right, Got cool. a really couple of good shows about Ghostbusters. Right so I, I say give those a give those a listen to. Um, they're very cool in my book. Uh, we also want to give a shout out to the guys over at St. Paul Filmcast. We'll put it right here at St. Paul Filmcast. And oh, it's uh, right here. Actually. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So the other one's here. This one's here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, in particular, our buddy uh, Nick Pilata, Chuck. I, just, I probably just butchered that name. That's a me over yonder. Right. That. So about um, Deadpool. He's got his first comic book is coming out. It's a film noir, or a, it's called The Green Way. It's a noir comic book. You can get that. You cool. know, just visit his Twitter account. And then uh, uh, they've been supporters of us since we got on Twitter. Okay. We love your support. We love you. Hey, we'll set something up. Hey soon. guys, check them out because. They're awesome. They're awesome. Like, we wouldn't even deal with people that unless they're no, awesome. No, no, absolutely not. And then last but not least, our fellow Floridians from just around the bend and our good buddy DJ Valentine. Who the hell is that? Oh, maybe we'll put him right here. <laughs> what there a he dork. Oh, that, that nerd. But that's why we love him. He's here and there. Oh, he's everywhere. He's such a dork. He's, that's why we love him because he's everywhere. He's always popping up on other people's shows. I have no idea who this uh, dude is. Uh, yeah. Really? He even guessed it here. I didn't see anything. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know. um, but our, our buddies over at Simplistic Reviews, uh, at, at Simple Tweeters. Um, yeah, fellow on Floridian. YouTube as well. On YouTube as well. Simplistic uh, Reviews. Yeah. They're great guys. DJ, yeah, he's okay. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> um, I am not going to insult you, you donkey punching mustard squirt. <laughs> but yeah, we've been doing a couple of little cross promotion kind of things there. So we want to give them a little, a little shout, a little love. A little what what? A little yo Twitter love. All these guys' links, by the way, in the description below. There you Check go. them out. There you go. But those are our buddies right now. You know, we'll, we'll try and do this more and more as we go. Indeed. Uh, give shout outs to our homies. And uh, yeah, so that's, so that's it. That's it. Thank you, fellas. That, guys, is the news. Mm -hmm. So uh, as always... Hit that subscribe button if you like our content. Hit the bell next to it if you dig get notified about our content. And head on over to MissCastEntertainment.com. Please. Where every now and then we put up some really fun stuff like articles and other stuff. Yeah, every now and again. Every now and then. <laughs> and we got some sweet-ass merch. That's it. So, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you got some sweet-ass merch and lots of margaritas. So, yeah. like, Cheers. Thank you, JJ. And we got JJ as Deadpool. That's, That's not Ryan Reynolds. Actually, my full name is Ryan Rodney Reynolds. That I didn't love as a kid because you can't have the name Rodney without having a really serious mustache. Nope. So we'll see you next time. Peace. Cheers. It is fun, but I would at some point love to see my family again. One franchise for Deadpool to be in, it's a non-comic book, Twilight, right? Team Edward, Team Jacob, Team Deadpool, Team Fun.